Recently, a couple of my viewers asked if I would share how I put my spice kits together that I use when I'm out in the woods. If you're interested in seeing them, keep watching. All right, so I have three small spice kits that I've put together over time, and I'll choose from one of these three when I'm going out for a hike, primarily based on what spices I think I'll need that day. So I'm going to show you the contents of all three, but before I do, I just want to mention the containers or the bags that they're in. So all three of these were picked up at our local thrift store, Value Village. Two of these are small change purses that I picked up, and the third one, of course, is a small camera case. The camera case is nice because it does offer a little bit of padding, that'll protect the contents from any damage inside. So we'll put two of them aside and I'll go through each one of these individually. Now, inside of each of these bags, the bottles that I have the spices in were purchased at our local dollar store, Dollarama. And you can buy these small bottles, and it'll show you in each case, you can buy these small bottles in sets. I think it's sets of eight in uh, the thrift, not, sorry, not the thrift section, but the, the craft section of the store. So they're not originally intended for food, but since they're glass bottles, as you can see, they're going to hold the food and keep it safe, and as long as the, the bottles don't get damaged, of course. So let me show you what I have in these three bottles and then we'll move on to the other kit. So one thing that I probably have in common to all three of these is some salt. Now this is sea salt that I have ground down and put in here. I like sea salt. And uh, so I have some sea salt in all three of the kits. If I had one concern, it hasn't been an issue, but if I had one concern is these metal caps. I believe they're aluminum, so they shouldn't uh, rust, but uh, they may corrode over time from the salt if they get damp, but uh, I haven't had that issue yet. Then I have in this one some hot sauce, some ground garlic, and this is the Montreal steak spice, the spicy version. I quite like using that. It has a bit of salt in it, but it also has quite a bit of hot spices. So not a lot of spices in this kit, but three or four small spices that are probably some of the most common that I use. So that one goes out with me a lot. Now I'm going to show you the camera case for the same reason. The camera case also has little containers, again, from Dollarama. And these are also from the craft section. So once again, I have sea salt, hot sauce, Montreal steak spice, and ground garlic. Not very original, I know. That's just the four spices I find I use most commonly. So I'll put that aside. And the third one now, this one is a little different because I have quite a few more spices in it. And they are in little glass vials. Again, these glass vials can be picked up at the craft section of, I'm assuming most dollar stores, but certainly at Dollarama. So in this case, I have six spices rather than four. And this has ground pepper. I'll show you the, the, uh, how the stoppers work in a second. This is also sea salt. It's a dark sea salt. Cayenne. Garlic again, no surprise. And I can't remember which herb. I think oregano, but I can't remember which one it is. And cinnamon. Now, uh, let me show you the bottles first. So I'm going to pull the cork on these. These come with this nice little cork in it, but what they don't come with is this little pull tab right here. So what I did is when I got them home and I was trying to get the, see if I can make it easy on myself to get the pull tab or the little cork out, is I drilled a tiny hole through the top of the cork with a very fine drill. I took some ultra fine bank line, threaded it through, made a little knot on the bottom, and so I have something to grab onto. Now this is a bit more traditional looking, and if you think of something a little bit uh, more bushcraft looking, these little glass vials probably look more traditional. And they are, I gotta be honest, this is the kit I carried least. That's probably why I can't remember some of the contents. Uh, not for any special reasons, just that I don't use all these spices all that often. So, each of these bottles, they're all glass, uh, will go together in this nice little kit. Now, if you're interested in putting a kit like this together for yourself, but you would like something very traditional looking, made from leather, handcrafted from leather, my friend Rob Young, and I'll put a link to his to his website, The Crafted Woodsman, he makes a nice little leather kit, all 
complete with bottles that are labeled that you could put some uh, your own spices in. So that's an option if you're looking for something to purchase already made as opposed to putting one together yourself. Now I just want to talk ab again about the spices for a moment. I know that there are medicinal uses for a lot of spices but be quite honest, I don't choose my spices based on that. I choose them based on what I'm most likely going to use them for cooking. However, medicinally, cayenne. Cayenne is quite often referred to as an excellent way of uh, uh, clotting up wounds. So if you pour this into an openly bleeding wound, it has a clotting factor with it that will stop the bleeding. Uh, quite honestly, that's not how I go about my first aid. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, that might be worth having with you. Uh, I don't use a lot of salt, mostly because a lot of my meals are already salty enough. But if I find some, like a, the Wild Zora that I've been trying out lately, needs a little bit of salt. Pepper, I per personally don't often use pre-ground pepper mostly because I find it's not as strong as freshly ground pepper, but I do have a little bit there. Uh, the garlic, I like garlic. <laughs> Honestly, I like garlic and I like it in most everything I cook, so the garlic I have. The cinnamon, again, not something I can use very often, but uh, it's nice to have a little change. And if I wish I can remember which herb this is, it may be a little mix of a couple of different herbs, but probably I should label those bottles, shouldn't I? But the things I do use most often are my hot sauce, which is, in this case, quite hot. The Montreal steak spice, spicy version, the garlic, and a little bit of salt. Those are the things I have most often. Okay, just a quick show and tell on the spice kits I like to carry when I'm going out for a hike. Um, I have a question for you. What spices do you carry and how do you carry those spices when you go out? If you put that in the comments section below, I'd be interested in seeing that. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore. Take that path, less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.